we've removed the sternocleidomastoid muscle and we're going to be looking at two groups, the scalene group and the muscles of the posterior neck. For the scalene group, let's just go as far anterior as we can and look at this first muscle that we see. There are three scalenes. There's an anterior, middle, and posterior scalene. And then behind that, we're going to see the levator scapulae muscle. The levator scapulae muscle is, of course, going to attach to the scapula or shoulder blade. And this is going to help us to lift up the shoulder blade. Do not confuse posterior scalene with the levator scapulae muscle. If you want to find out what it is, actually trace it down, and you'll see it attached to the medial border of the scapula. So that's how you'll know that it's not posterior or count from the front backwards. Behind the levator scapulae muscle is the splenius capitis muscle. So it's going to have two attachments, cap for capitis. Splenius refers to spine, so it's going to be attaching at the cervical spine. 